after spending some time using Kavut, a fintech platform that recently won the fintech startup competition at FinCon, I can say it left me both impressed and a little overwhelmed. For anyone even remotely interested in DIY investing or trying their hand at building a portfolio backed by data, Kavut is worth exploring. But it's not without its quirks. What makes Kavut stand out immediately is its use of artificial intelligence to drive investment decisions. At the center of the platform is Kai, their AI engine, which pulls from a massive stream of data, SEC filings, analyst ratings, price trends, news articles, and even social media buzz. In theory, it's all about stripping the emotion out of investing and relying on pure, data-driven logic. In practice, it does a surprisingly good job at identifying patterns and surfacing stocks with potential. One of the more unique features is the chi-score, a numerical value assigned to each stock based on its predicted future performance. It's a clean, digestible way to understand the results of complex data analysis, and I found myself leaning on it heavily as I built my watch lists. The score doesn't replace your own research, of course, but it gives you a solid starting point, especially if you're not glued to CNBC all day. The platform's layout is modern, fast, and responsive, which made my experience pretty smooth overall. I didn't run into lagging charts or delays in loading data, even when diving into deeper stock performance metrics. That said, if you're new to investing or not super familiar with terms like value investing or fundamental screening, there's definitely a learning curve. Kavut isn't built for total beginners, despite its clean interface. I had to bounce between the platform and Investopedia more than a few times. What I really liked, though, was the screener tool. Kavut has pre-built strategies based on the philosophies of investing legends like Warren Buffett and Benjamin Graham. I tried out Graham's approach and compared it to a custom screener I built around tech stocks. It was fascinating to see how my picks performed against AI-recommended ones, and that competitive aspect made the whole experience feel more like a game than a chore. Speaking of games, Kavut's approach to gamification is another smart move. You can create and track simulated portfolios to test out your investment theories. It's low risk and honestly kind of fun. For someone who wants to experiment without putting real money on the line, this feature alone makes Kavut valuable. One thing to be aware of is the sheer volume of content on the platform. Between market news, blogs, and industry updates, there's a constant stream of info. It's good to have everything in one place, but at times it felt like drinking from a fire hose. Learning to filter out noise from useful signals is key. As for pricing, at the time of writing this, Kavut offers a free tier with basic tools, which I started with. There are also premium options that unlock more advanced analytics, backtesting tools, and additional AI insights. The pricing is competitive compared to platforms like Trade Ideas or Stock Rover, but I'd suggest starting with the free version to see if it suits your style. Speedwise, I had no complaints. Searches were quick, charts loaded instantly, and news feeds updated in real time. This is a big plus, especially when you're watching markets fluctuate minute by minute. That said, Kavut isn't for everyone. If you firmly believe in the efficient market hypothesis and think all information is already priced in, you probably won't see much value here. Also, while A, I can reduce emotional investing, it's not magic. Market black swans, unpredictable events, and human behavior still play huge roles. In short, Kavut is an impressive tool for data-driven investors who want to blend AI with their investing strategy. It's best suited for intermediate-level users, people who've maybe dabbled with stocks before but want to take a more systematic, informed approach. Beginners can still use it, but I'd recommend brushing up on some finance fundamentals before diving in. Would I recommend it? Absolutely, especially for investors who want a leg up with tech-backed insights. Just don't expect it to do the thinking for you. Think of it more like a really smart co-pilot.